Hello and welcome back to Windows 11 video series optimizing power and battery settings in Windows 11 and definitely here in this following video we are going to share some major tips and essential skills that you need to know about managing your battery life on your Windows 11 laptop mostly so let's switch to the Windows 11 machine now here on the Windows 11 machine we will simply ask you a question that if you want to extend your battery performance of your laptop machine so you should watch this video so firstly let's right click to the start and go to the system and once you click here so you can see that on the left you have different settings and options available but currently the system setting is set to about so let's click back to the system and here you have a separate dedicated menu for optimizing and managing your power and battery so let's select this option now in the first time in the windows 11 you can see that it shows your battery levels and it shows all the graphical data about the power consumptions that has been made and in this single look you will determine you will know that how much battery percentage is available and how much needs to be charged and here's the level it shows you the detail information so if you click here for the detail info so this graph is gonna look like that and here you can see it gives you screen on time screen off time and it, it shows you the data about last 24 hours you can change it for the week as well and here's the graph of the whole week where your battery your laptop machine has been utilized and there's much more that we will later on in this video we're going to explore so let's go back to you know the basic options so this is a cool thing and i really like this feature in windows 11 that you can easily understand the battery patterns and that gives you the understanding that your battery is working fine now let's explore this power mode options so if you click to the power mode and here you can see that there's a drop down and it contains three different you know the power mode that you can choose according to the requirement and according to how you use your machine so currently it is set to balance and here you can see it optimizes your device based on the power use and performance so currently it is set to balance so let's say that if you are not working on high cpu usage application or if your work is not related to high memory and cpu consumption so you could go for the balance but here you can adjust the requirement let's say you need some cpu and memory power from your laptop so you can go for the best performance and this gives you the best performance the best output from the memory and the cpu in contrast if you are stuck somewhere and you don't have the charger and, and there is something wrong with the power of your environment of your home or of your office as well so you can go with the best power efficiency so definitely as this Trump suggests that it will optimize your machine to use little power from the battery and to give you the best moderate performance not the best because for the best you should go for the best performance but you know all the laptop user have this sort of issue that which app is, is, is exactly taking a lot of power from the battery and you know is the reason to having a downfall of the battery of the charging so this windows 11 os has resolved this issue very in a good manner that if you click on the battery usage so it will give you the whole picture of the graph that we have already discussed but if you keep scrolling down under the battery usage per app so you can see that it gives you the percentage about each app that has utilized your battery power which you can see right now that windows notepad took like 30 percent Windows Explorer, Chrome, WhatsApp, any app 
that you have used in your laptop and you are wondering that you want to know that which app is using how much CPU because this goes in a way what that whenever the CPU and memory is utilized your power is definitely utilizing because it is connected to the best performance or the best power mode so definitely whenever any app utilizes your CPU and memory that definitely took the power as well so this goes in the same way and here you can see that it lists down all the apps that how much these apps are utilizing your power so mostly these are like the chrome your browser or your messaging app and your windows explorer and the notepad this is the notepad and i am confused at why this notepad is taking too much battery so this is the way you can figure out that which app is utilizing more power on usage then we have another option in windows 11 regarding the sleep and the screen things and here you will see the summary of these options because in the windows 10 in the previous os versions you have to go to the different options to see these things in a single place but here it's easy that on battery power turn off my screen so you can set these parameters and it works like that because most of the time when you plug in and your screen is turned on so definitely it is utilizing the battery and the definitely the memory and cpu has been utilized so it is directly impacting the power consumption of your laptop so you can set the options for both situation when the battery power is on how when the screen needs to be turned off when you are plug in so you know when your screen should be turned off so all the settings you can do from here after that there is another options available option available here which is the battery saver so if you explore it so if you turn on the battery saver it will just give you the the experience of where you are accessing your resources your memory and cpu but it goes like that what's best for the battery so it not going to be the best performance best performance efficiency but it just go for the best power efficiency so it's it's based upon what you select and here it says like battery saver if you turn it on so you can see the power mode is set automatically but while the battery saver is turned on so what happens that when you turn on the battery saver it do not give you the option to adjust your power mode and if you turn it off so everything goes back to normal and now you have a chance to adjust and customize your power mode then you have turned battery saver automatically so you can set this as well that whenever your battery falls to 20 percent and just 20 percent is available so you can set it up and it will automatically turn on the battery saver and that's good and you can make this threshold to any value that suits you more but 20 percent is recommended then lower the brighter screen when the battery saver used so it will definitely lower down the brightness of your screen if you turn it on this option and then you turn on the battery saver now you have seen that we have discussed about that how much your apps are utilizing your battery power so to adjust that which app should you know take how much power and if you wanted to set some thresholds and parameter for each app that this is the limit and after that this this must not be utilized so for that you need to go to the apps and here on the app section you should go to the install app and you have seen that we figure out that the notepad you know is taking too much power and battery so let's click to this three dotted line and go to the advanced option and here you can see that you can adjust the setting that background app permission that this app run in the background so currently it is set to power optimize you can set it to always or never so this way from going to the app then the install app and on that specific app that is actually utilizing the power more from that point you can adjust this background app permission for utilizing the battery and power and also you can directly jump from the power and battery 
and if you go to the power and battery here go to the battery usage and here you can see the apps so if you click on the three dotted line manage background activity so from that options as well you will directly navigate it to the advanced modification regarding the battery and app then let's go back to the system and go to the power and battery now here you can see that here's the energy recommendation which is introduced in windows 11 that it gives you some recommendation if you apply it, so you're going gray and you're going green because applying energy saving recommendation to lower your carbon footprint so it is healthy and good for the environment as well if you apply all these settings but currently i didn't apply this i didn't apply this so you can apply as if it suits to your requirement but it is recommended according to you know this energy saving recommendation then there is the option to fully synchronize and fully manage your power advanced power options and to access that we're going to open the control panel from here and here you can see that here we have the power option and once you click here so you can change the settings you can adjust the power plan or you can create the new power plan for your machine for your lab so currently the balance recommended is selected so let me click to the change plan settings and here you have some change advanced power setting as well so this is for the laptop and while the turn off and put computer sleep but if you come here and this option is available in the previous os as well but if you have an explorer there so you can explore it right and here you can adjust your you know the system power consumption in a more granular way in advanced method like you can set up for the power code up for your graphics power plan you can set up for the usb settings and you can customize the power consumption for your hard drive, your, your browser, your desktop, your wireless adapter. So this is pretty much advanced stuff that you may require in, in some, you know, some advanced work related job, advanced task related jobs. But you should know that how you can access it and where it should be done. So that's all about the power and the battery stuff related to the Windows 11 tools and options.